Patient has a case of pneumonia. Her cortisol levels are way high. Should we work up for Cushing syndrome, sir? First of all, why do you need to cortisol for this patient? Have you heard of something called a pseudo Cushing's? Is there an entity called pseudo Cushing's? What is it, sir? First of all, you need to know that the term Cushing syndrome means hypercortisolism. Not all hypercortisolisms are going to be pathologic. There are some reasons for elevated cortisol which are purely physiologic. One of the main reason is stress. Especially when it comes to hospitalized patients or anyone who is sick, your cortisol level is going to be high because it's a stress hormone. So ideally, one should not do a cortisol test if the patient is sick or if the patient is hospitalized or anyone with acute illness. In this patient, if you are strongly suspecting Cushing syndrome, you should have waited for the pneumonia to resolve, let the patient discharge back home and then do Cushing syndrome screening as an outpatient and not as an inpatient. Thank you, sir. But please forgive me. I did cortisol for rather two ICU patients. Hey, hey, hey. You cannot just like that escape by saying a simple thank you. You, along with the viewers who are watching this video, must be able to answer this question as well. I told you the most important reason for pseudo Cushing's is stress, especially hospitalized patients. What are the other important causes of pseudo Cushing's? Mention your answers in the comments below.